Smartphones these days come with a ton of features, but the usability and practicality of those features are either questionable, really helpful, or it will have you asking why they even did this. The Galaxy Z Fold and Z Flip series do have a feature called Flex Mode, and I find myself using it more and more these days. Maybe you've never seen it or heard of it, but today I wanna go over this fairly useful feature and talk about how it can enhance your experience when using these devices. So what even is Flex Mode? Well, Flex Mode is a feature that allows you to fold your Galaxy Z Fold or Galaxy Z Flip at an angle, allowing you to split the content on their screens in half. Doing this also gives you the ability to make your device stand up without a case, and this feature can be enabled or disabled for particular apps by going into settings, advanced features, labs, then scrolling down to flex mode panel. Once you're here, all you'll need to do is look through this list of apps here and either turn the switch on or off and you're good to go. There are apps that have a specific layout, so these can't be turned off or on. Using flex mode is really simple. All you have to do is go into an app you have it enabled for and fold your device halfway. Once the app you're using situates itself to the top of the screen, then flex mode has been enabled. As I mentioned before, some apps have a particular layout that cannot be changed but a lot of apps will show you this control bar down here with multiple options. The options here consist of a button that lets you pull down the notification bar, take a screenshot of the top of your screen where the app is situated, control the brightness as well as the volume, and my personal favorite, a mouse pointer for when you wanna act like you have a laptop of sorts. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the use cases for flex mode now. So the general idea with flex mode is that it allows you to make the Z fold or Z flip device you're using stand upright without using a case, or it will allow you to hold a device more securely when completing certain tasks. Some more specific use cases would be watching a video when you're sitting down, maybe eating a meal or just at your desk at work scrolling through some pictures you've taken maybe because you're viewing details within those pictures and documenting the information from them using the controls down here to enable a mouse pad while browsing the internet using microsoft excel or even using microsoft word or simply just to fine-tune navigation while scrolling through a particular document like a pdf Using an app like the camera will give you a specific layout like this here. This particular layout makes it easy to set your device down and have it either take a picture or a video of you. So that means no more having to have someone else hold your phone for you. Apps like the calculator also give you a specific layout like this where all of the more advanced functions of a calculator get situated to the bottom of the screen while the results get situated to the top. Another specific and really great use case is for reading books, maybe while you're in bed or even sitting at a table like you could literally do with any of these modes or any of these things I'm talking about here. The last use case I have for you is to be able to use multi-window from a different perspective. In my own specific example, I was filming a video and needed to record audio while reading from a script I created. With flex mode, I was able to have the voice recorder situated at the top half of the display and Microsoft Word on the bottom half. This multi-window setup made it very, very easy to read what I wrote on the bottom half of the display while having the voice recorder app take it all in and allow me to go back and re-record if I messed up at some point. So there you have it. As you can see, flex mode is a feature that can be really, really useful in many situations. It's nothing groundbreaking, but it does really add to the overall idea of foldable devices in the first place, which is to enhance how we use smartphones through their physical design. So I hope that this video was very helpful. I hope that 
flex mode is something that you'll consider using in the future. And if it is, definitely leave a comment. If there's any questions you wanted to ask, of course, also go ahead and ask those. But wherever you are in the world, have a great day, a great afternoon, a great evening, or a great night. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.